Hi everybody, it's Beneza here again. Um, I want to talk to you guys about peripheral neuropathy. Um, it's a condition I have that is caused by a lot of things. A lot of people who have it have some uh, diabetes. Oh, I don't have diabetes. Um, but it could be caused by high blood sugar. Um, whether your class is diabetic or not. It can be caused by like trauma or you know, someone like me who is way overweight and I walk. I used to walk and play a lot of sport in England. Um it would be rugby, basketball, American football, soccer. I wasn't very good at soccer or rugby. The two fast paced for me. Um basketball's fast paced game but you know it's it was a, a smaller playing field, or the court's not as big as the rugby field or a soccer field. So I was good at that, and my brain is just fought faster than everybody else. So I could be a couple of seconds ahead of everybody instead of being, you know, quick on my feet. Um, you know, and now I've gone to come to America, and I'm not doing anything, any sport, playing any sport at all. Um, I'm walking three miles in heat and humidity which is I'm not used to and that is basically the cause of how I've got peripheral neuropathy because um, my feet are carrying around maybe 150 pounds more than that they should um, because I'm not fit anymore um, and walking in all this heat and humidity um, and peripheral neuropathy is basically a burning pins and needles sensation along with sharp shooting pains in your feet like lightning hits your feet or something and or sometimes it's like someone taking a lighter cigarette lighter and trying to burn your feet on the bottom sometimes and some people get numbness so they have to re be really careful where they step or you know at least put flip flops on the bottom of their feet so they can walk through the house and not step on something and you know get a cut on their foot and then don't know about it. I've had that a couple of times. You know, I've been walking through the house, didn't realise that my got my foot cut, and one of the cuts got infected. And fortunately enough, um, I held it on my own by putting antiseptic cream and whatever else on it. So fortunately enough I didn't have to go to the ER, the ER or, or a nurse or um, any form of hospital to get that checked out. Um, but it's, I think what my main message is to people, families and friends, with people in, the, in their certain network or the families or network of friends who think well wh what are you complaining about just get on with things and man up kind of thing but it's not just a, a cold um, I can understand people saying well you just got a cold you know I, I go out and do things with a cold you know but I usually get a chest infection which doesn't help and I used to play bath when I was 10, 15, 20 years younger, I used to play basketball with a chest infection, no problem. Now, I wouldn't even dream about playing sport with a chest infection because I'm a lot older and a lot heavier and I'm not as fit as I used to be. Nowhere near as fit as I used to be. But I think people have to understand how severe it can be. My pain level is a lot worse than some. Um, I know a couple other people who have this problem and their their feet pain isn't as bad as mine, but, but mine isn't nowhere near as bad as some people on a couple of Facebook page groups that um, I'm on. People's feet are turning a dark colour or getting so inflamed that it looks like that someone's blown their feet up like a balloon. And, and God forbid I, if I ever get that bad because when it's bad now for me I've, I don't know how these people cope 
you know, with not going to the hospital, not getting some form of prescribed pain relief at least, you know, to mask the, the pain. Um, I, use, I have used gabapentin in the past and it, it works good for me and it knocks me out as well because I can't sleep if I don't use, don't use gabapentin and that knocks me out pretty good and it t put me to sleep for a good 7-8 hours where for me to get 4 or 5 hours is a good night's sleep um, the last couple of years since my feet have been in pain um, I try to exercise, I've got a bike um, so I don't have to be on my feet and have that much pressure on my feet um, and I don't go out as much as people want me to on my bike but when your feet hurt that much even a bike isn't that pleasant um, and swimming I used to swim a lot when I was a teenager and I go on the go, I've been to the beach and swam in the sea with it and it, it's I've never been bit by a jellyfish but you, when your feet get wet or my feet get wet like that and you've been in a swimming pool or, or the ocean for half an hour or longer it's like being stung by a jellyfish on both your feet or what I would assume being stung by a jellyfish would feel if you've got, you know, your feet are wet for that long um, my wife isn't too um, sensitive about it and I know she, she doesn't have to be but it's I think friends and family you have to or in my opinion please have a bit more concern and empathy and sympathy for people with it you know because although it's not a disease like cancer or AIDS or anything like that um, it's still something that is present it's still something that is ongoing and you know there, there's things to make it less painful to you know kind of cure it and, or get rid of it at least you can exercise cut out as much sugar as you can um, you know pe people look at candy and say oh sugar free fat free but you still <coughs> excuse me you're still consuming something that turns into calories um, you know, pretty much anything and everything that we consume if we don't exercise it off is going to possibly turn into fat um, you know even you know salad people think oh you can eat as much salad as you can but if you're putting salad dressing on there on top of it as much as health as, as a healthier option salad is and you know fruit and whatever else vegetables you know and I promote that. Now, I love vegetables. I like broccoli and cauliflower. I'm one of, mostly one of the few people who like sprouts as well. But um, you know, we we need to, and I need to as well, is exercise more and eat more fruit and vegetables. And that's what I'm used to. I was used to eating in England. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm, I'm more drinking more water. And that's why I'm coughing because I need a glass of water. So I've only drank one glass of water and that was today and that was about three hours ago so really I'm not doing as brilliant as I should do myself um, so anybody who has it cut out the sugar um, if you got, can afford it buy some multivitamin gummies um, they just seem to go you know absorb into my body better um, uh, the gummies Plus, I don't really like swallowing pills anyway. Um, I have to if I have to, but I don't really like swallowing pill pills at all. <coughs> so that's why I go for gummies when it's multivitamins, because I can chew them and it's a bit like candy, and you kind of it's a good candy because you, you can chew on it and taste something that is a bit like gummy worms or whatever. You, life say, life say the gummies or whatever, but. You know, taking into consideration how painful it is for people. Thank you.